Okay, we are back. Super cool world. It's very empty. Um, let's see what we have so far. It's been a little bit. So we have Frank. He's not doing too much. There's not a whole lot going on here. We have inspect trees. You take out your binoculars and inspect the trees. The structures appear to be abandoned, but only recently so. Well, that's pretty interesting. So wait a minute, if we go back, I can no longer inspect the trees? No, okay, we can. There's a cool down. We go all the way up, look at this room action, edit, 10 second cool down. Let's do one second. That way it's immediately, it comes immediately back. Or, Let's just say we don't want it to come back ever. So it doesn't matter what you do with the, the cooldown. Um, on multiplayer servers though, the cooldown affects everyone. So keep that in mind. That's why I like to keep it at one second. So if you have multiple people trying to inspect the trees, you might just want to have it reset after one second. But in order for someone to not spam it, we're going to, we're going to use marks. So right now we have, for the name and the action, inspect trees. We're displaying the action in the room. And then commands we have, send to actor. You take out your binoculars, inspect the trees. So we could do this ad infinitum forever. The conditions are not in combat. And if you have the binoculars in your inventory. Right now we are going to add one new condition. And it's going to be marked marked right inspect trees true and because the and links everything together so we have marked inspect trees true in order for this to become true we do have to mark the actor so literally mark actor inspect trees true and then use a semicolon between commands to make things string together instantaneously. So we have marked inspect trees true. We're going to make it not marked inspect trees true. So if you are not marked, then it will show. If you are marked, it will not show. I will give you the example here. So we have inspect trees. I am not marked. I have no marks. I'm going to inspect the trees. Cool. I'm going to exit the room and come back. And I don't see the prompt anymore. And keep in mind, this is a one second cooldown. It should be immediately back. And just to show you again, it's it's not there. That is because you Marked the actor, inspect trees, true. The conditions, not marked, inspect trees, true. <laughs> this is kind of, kind of like a tongue twister. That's difficult for me to say every single time. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. It is a little confusing at first. I asked you to do the marked, inspect trees, true. Um, because it, it makes sense. And then you add the not, which a lot of people don't know. You can add not to something. So the not in combat and the not marked true. It changes a lot. It gives you a lot more options. So we have saved this. Very cool. And what we're going to do now is let's make one more room to the north called uh, Woodland Pub. Tis a pub. I can spell is a pub. Great. I think that I want the pub to be a different, a different color. You have forest, which would be green, mountain, which would be brown, field is, is a light green, indoor is a light brown, city is, I think, some sort of gray brown, road is gray, trail is. So you have a few options here, or go down to the color section 
I like to use this website, colorhexa.com. I don't know if you can see how I, yep, colorhexa. Cool. And I want this to be, it doesn't really matter, like kind of like a, like a beigey brown. So color, make sure that you do have the hashtag in there. Oh, boom, look at that. And now it is going to be brown. Sometimes it takes a while to uh, show up. It really depends. And sometimes if you make a new room, you're not even going to have, yeah, perfect. You're not even going to have the option to put in the color. If this happens, just save and then reopen it or just click on it and reopen it. There are a few bugs that happen like that throughout Written Realms and it's just a matter of leaving it alone or refreshing the page. Uh, especially when we make item actions, which we'll get into. But for now, we're going to make a mob. Oh yeah. We have test mob here, but let's go ahead and make Grumple Stilt Skin. Grumple Stilt Skin. Amazing. All right. Um, you are level four female, believe it or not. Warrior Guild aggression normal humanoid classless we are doing a classless world with classless skills to make them classless hit sure sounds good fight back yeah make her fight back i'm so sorry i didn't mean to offend anyone so we have this beautiful beautiful lady i promise it's a lady it's a lady, for sure. Crumple Stilt Skin. I don't know why I'm setting myself up for failure today. Crumple Stilt Skin. Um, the automatic description is, is here. You, come on, just have some, have some flair. Crumple Stilt Skin is a lady who is definitely here. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta make things exciting for for players. Uh, I would, I like to put the look description pretty much every single time, uh, unless I'm doing just like a, like a casual enemy that no one cares about. I still will try to go back and edit it later on. It just matter. It, it depends on if you're in flow. So if you're in a creative flow, try not to bog yourself down with too much of this stuff around here, like the ad reactions and just try to get all of your ideas out and then refine it later on. So we have a mob here. I'm gonna go through a few possibilities. Let us, before we do anything, I know that we haven't touched anything. We are going to load this mob. So if you are a builder character, you can literally type load mob and then paste. Oh, I'm not a builder. <laughs> You can, you can make your character a builder, edit, players, Frank is a builder. Very interesting that we have, um, we have, we have Tebow here and didn't tell him about this place. He's spying on me guys. He's the creator and he's spying on me. Anything I do, he spies on me. All right. So we have now a, we should have a builder character. I like to restart or refresh the page anytime I make any kind of adjustment. So I do have a builder character now. Load mob. We're taking the mob ID up here. It's, you can see in the link, I don't know if it's showing up on the page. The very top of the URL is a, is a link or go to the mob list and you will see over here, mob ID. So load mob, mob ID. You wave your hands and scrumple stilt skin appears. Phenomenal. We are going to look. Grumple stilt skin is a lady who's definitely here. That's so great. It's so good for you. Um, let us look at grumple stilt skin. That is uh, very hard to type. You are a level four female. Your health is 116. Let's keep that in mind. The health is 116. 
we have default stats. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and make your health 516, make you a little more of a challenge. So I saved it. But if I look at Grumple Stilt Skin over here again, it still says 116. That's annoying, right? We're going to have to purge Grumple Stilt Skin using the purge command. Purge means it's gone. And if we load it back, look, Grumple, still skin. Its health is at 516. So keep this in mind. Every time you load a new skill, you edit anything about it, you're going to have to purge the mobs and then bring them back in. You know, it's a process. Or you can just shut down the world, which also takes some time, probably not as convenient, and wind it back up. So... Grumpy, Grumpy's back. Let's go ahead and um, target it by keywords. We're just going to Grumple Stilt Skin space Grumpy. Purge grump, Grumple. Jesus. And now we are going to load. Look Grumpy. Great. So now we have given it a nickname that you can choose to identify it by so i'm looking at grumpy it's so much easier to type all right we're going to keep her around we're going to go ahead and load grumpy with a skill we're gonna to have to make a custom skill so we go over to our our area over here we have these three three kind of sections we go to super cool world whatever your name is configuration we have all this stuff all the way at the bottom we have custom skills we have punch 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 five second cooldown 25 percent stamina three yeah this is fine did we do this i don't remember making this go back to grumble still skin or whatever character go at the bottom there's going to be skills. It is taking a second to load. Okay. Teach us skills. You don't have to worry about that right now. If we just want this dude or this lady to use a skill in combat, there's a few things that I've noticed. Um, use abilities. We want to make sure that that is selected. Combat script. Punch. Pass. Whenever you have a pass, this means nothing happens. Instead of passing, I like to have some kind of um, flare. We're just going to use the, the term flare for everything. So say, I just punch you. And beforehand, we're going to say, I'm about to punch you. She's Southern, by the way. She's from Texas. So we have a uh, like a skill combat script say I'm about to punch you then she punches and then she says I just punched you we'll do a pass after that now we're going to have to purge her again so purge grumpy she's gone load mob now we can try to kill her. Kill Grumpy. I'm about to punch you. She punches me for 32 damage. I just punched you. And then I died. She killed me. She killed me, dude. Okay, so I'm going to stand up. Because you're resting, you're standing up. Go up, see her again. She's going to aggro on you. You're going to have to keep that in mind. Um, it just is what it is, man. They remember you. They have a good memory. So I am going to find Grumple Stilt Skin. Find, maybe find Grumpy. There we go. This is another very useful builder command. You can find any of the mobs. Copy, paste, jump. And then this is over here, the, the room ID. 
So I am jumping to the room ID. And Grumpy is not attacking me, which is great. She didn't register that I entered the room. I just appeared in the room. So I'm going to purge Grumpy. Great. So it's great that the combat works. Um, sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, just mark them elite. This is a bug that we found out recently. Mark them elite, and then for some reason it works. So if it ever just stops working, go back, mark them elite, it will always work. So let's let's go ahead and uh, let's go up here to the, please stand up. Oh my God. To the woodland pub, to the pub. Load mob. That is not the mob ID, that is the room ID. Go back over here. Get grumpy, load, mob, bring her in. Let, let's, uh, let's dress her up a little bit. Minor faction, we don't have any factions, that's fine. Reaction, when a room is entered, something is going to happen. When something is said, something is going to happen. We'll go through each one. So room is entered. Emote. Uh, welcomes actor in. Emote is, uh, instead of saying something, it is, it's an action, it's doing something. So welcomes actor in. Great. Reaction. Something is said. Say, okay. Over in the option areas where you're going to have to put this. So something is said. Spoke the spoken words that will trigger the reaction. What's good, homie? Is what's going to be said. And then say, not much, bro. That's the response. Add action. Time has elapsed. I like to do usually 60 or 90 seconds for something like this, but we'll do 15 seconds. Emote, so Grumpy is doing something. Emote scratches her booty. She scratches her booty every 15 seconds. It's periodic. Uh, <laughs> when the mob loads itself, it's a little more of a specific use case. So whenever this mob loads, so it will be uh, remote, appears out of thin air. So every time this mob loads, it says it's going to appear out of thin air. Whenever the player connects, say, you just appeared out of thin air. When the mob dies, it'll say, oh, geez. Dot, dot, dot. And if an item is received, it'll say, gee, thanks. But what item? Let's see, I think the only item we have right now is, we have the binoculars and the short sword, right? Or is it just, yeah, we got, let's do the binoculars. So item is received. All you have to do is put in the item ID number. Conditions, item, you don't really have to have any conditions. We could do, actually, let's do this. Um, the condition would be marked inspect trees true. So you can only give her the binoculars if you've inspected the trees. So she's loaded up, man. We're going to go ahead and purge her again. Purge Grumpy. Load Grumpy. Is she going to say anything? Yes. <laughs> Grumble still skin appears out of thin air. What else do we have? Uh, if I enter the room, welcomes Frank in, all lowercase for some reason. And she scratched her booty right on, right on cue, man. Every 15 seconds, she's going to do it. Um. Let's do give binoculars to Grumpy. Gee, thanks, it says. Scratches her booty. 
we're going to say what's say what's good homie not much bro she is dude this is so immersive like this is crazy if you put in this amount of care to like every single npc which admittedly i haven't even done on arjun it's going to be a crazy time like people are going to have a ball trying to figure out the little things that that make your world work like you need to set yourself apart from everyone else i have hundreds and hundreds of mobs and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items and it's a lot i could not do this i could not do this with everyone <laughs> i will say that we're looking at the periodic it's every 15 seconds if you have a bunch of mobs that are periodically spewing out something um if it's something it says or does or moves or whatever this adds to an overall lag um arjun suffers from it every once in a while but just one npc that's doing this every 15 seconds isn't going to it's not going to harm anything i am going to make it every minute though because we are going to use her again so we're going to purge grumpy bring her back she's chilling it's great um the thing that we didn't test is connecting so if you refresh then that automatically logs you out and i just connected so i don't know maybe it's not going to do it let's try this i'm out of the room i'm going to jump to the room yeah nothing happens that's fine and i was just testing to see if um event connect the player connects yeah it's fine so let's go ahead and uh let's have a conversation with grumpy so if you play arjun then you will be familiar with how this is set up talk to grumpy We'll do force actor say was good home slice. Force grumpy say don't call me that. Um, we'll just have we'll have her ask. Force grumpy say do you want some chocolate? So let's get some conditions in here not marked grumpy one true first thing in the commands mark actor grumpy one true semicolon because without the semicolon it's just going to take two seconds so the first these first two commands happen simultaneously so as soon as you hit the talk to grumpy button it's going to mark you all right do you want some chocolate Force actor look. We'll just test this for now. All right, Grumple Still Skin welcomes me in. I can talk to Grumpy. Let's do it. What's good, Home Slice? Not much, bro. Don't call me that. Okay. Remember, we have. <laughs> we have the. Uh, Oh geez, where you at? Down here, what's good, homie? That's hilarious. So it's actually registering like an approximate. So I have over here, what's good, home slice, not what's good, homie. And it has an approximate like register. So we will pretend that didn't happen or just delete it. It's all good. So the conversation should go, what's good? Home slice. Don't call me that. Do you want some chocolate? And it forced you to look. So it's going to refresh the screen. Any of the, any new commands or any new room actions will pop up. So let's go ahead and this is just the first one. I like the clone. We have the clone tool over here. We'll make it 
the second one. Talk to Grumpy. So she just asked, do you want some chocolate? Yes, I want chocolate. We're going to have to change the conditions though. So this will only show up if marked Grumpy one true. Fun little glitch going on here. Save that, come back in. All right. So this will only happen if you are marked grumpy one true and not marked grumpy two true. So up here, mark grumpy two true, because this is the second, um, I guess, second part of the conversation. So force actors say, of course, duh. And force grumpy emote gives actor some of her world famous chocolate that she pulled out of her pants. Yeah. You thank her. Let's go ahead and clone it again because we also want the option to say no. So heck nope. We will still have this number two. This is the second part of the conversation. She asked a question and you can either say yes or no, but it is going to mark the same and you can always mark differently. But if you're marking the same, then it's just going to pass to the next part of the conversation. So mark grumpy to true. Absolutely not. Cause you said no. So force grumpy. What does she do? She cries. Force actor look. Let's do this. So we have mark actor grumpy two true. Mark actor grumpy three true. And not marked grumpy three true. Come back over here. You have the options. Yes, I want chocolate or heck nope. So let's do the third option, the third and final option. Because you said no, console Grumpy. Mark actor Grumpy for true. So we want over here. This is only going to show up if marked grumpy two true and marked grumpy three true. So because we said no, we have this option now. So we have console grumpy mark actor grumpy four true. This is the final one. You can even do final. So we have marked grumpy two true. Let's just do grumpy three true because we can only access this if we said no. And if we said no, that is the only way we can get marked grumpy three true. So marked grumpy three true and not marked grumpy final true. So mark actor grumpy final true. Force act, uh, actor emote apologizes and rubs grumpy's back. Force grumpy say Dang, that feels good. Keep doing that. Perfect. So now we will say, heck nope. Absolutely not. I don't want that chocolate. So she cries. Oh, that's so sad. And then it refreshes and says, console grumpy. I'm going to apologize and, and rub your back. She says, mm, dang, that feels good. Keep doing that. So you have options. You just have to be clever about how you're how you're constructing a dialogue like this you can have it very linear where it's this 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 and this there are only a few times in arjun where i kind of have like these these branching dialogues because they get overwhelming obviously they all kind of look the same it's it's hard to like compartmentalize but it's fun and then it increases replayability so yeah 
we're going to go ahead and stop here. And she keeps scratching her butt. That's great. We'll come back another time and do a little bit more. Um, we'll talk about custom skills and other fun hacks.